Magna Malo, the wyvern of malice. Strong, fast, and relentless. How do you beat that shit? Especially the demo one, you know? Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We made this video to help people who are still struggling to defeat this super buffed up Magna Malo in the demo. First, let's talk about the preset builds we have. You can choose whatever weapon you like. This isn't a weapon guide nor a speedrun, guys. Just a general guide with helpful tips. In this particular run, we're going to use the light bow gun. We feel that it's the easiest weapon to use. One of the biggest advantages of the light bow gun is that you can keep your distance and attack from afar. However, the downside of gunner weapons in particular is that they all take more damage from physical attacks. We will include some weapon tips as well like how to use the wire bug moves to mount. We're going to walk through the run together and I will explain what we did. Just remember, this isn't a speed run, just a casual run using all the possible tricks in the game. Let's go! Here we are in the shrine ruins. First, we go to the camp and take the pitfall trap. It's optional. You don't really need it, but it's there, so why not take it? Another optional is the splash bug to craft flash bombs. You gotta pick the latch berries in these areas if you're going to use the light bow gun or heavy bow gun, because we're going to craft pierce ammo later. So to all gunners, make sure you prepare your radial menu. Right here we have the whale nard, which I don't see many people using. Did you know that you can lure monsters with this? We're going to use it later. Why hello there Rathian, let's ride her. Since Rathian is not the target of the quest, you can ride her pretty quickly. To get an easy mount, you have to do the warbug moves or airborne attacks, preferably on the head. If you miss the head, it's okay, you can just do it again. Let's pause right here so we can show you how the wyvern riding works. Every weapon type has certain silkbind attacks. Some of them increase your damage, while others deal damage. In order to mount a monster, you need to deal damage with this blue background. The silkbine attacks that deal damage can be used to start a ride. For some weapons like the bow, which do not have silkbine attacks that deal damage, you have to do attacks while airborne. There are several methods to mount, but for now, we concentrate on what we can do while mounted. For more information, check out this video on Team Darkseid's YouTube channel. Once mounted, you have some options for what you can do. You can run, perform a light or heavy attack, evade, and launch a monster forward into a wall or another monster. Each monster has a minimum of 4 different attacks. 2 light attacks and 2 strong attacks. Those depend on the direction you press while doing said attacks. You can press forward or backward for different moves. For Rathian, we want to use the forward strong attack, which is the tail swing. Make sure you have 3 wire bugs on you for more attacks, wall banks, and evades. Another little tip is that you can cancel the animation of attacks by evading out of them as you can see here. That saves you time and lets you attack faster. Alright, we're back and have successfully mounted Rathian. Let's not keep Magnamala waiting. For the Rathian mount, you just want to do the tail swing attack to inflict poison and damage. You can do about a maximum of 6 attacks before the mount finisher. When 
When you drop off after the mount, you leave Magna Malo for a bit to get all the endemic life and hunter helpers. Here we have the Thunder Beetle. We go up and here's the Blastoad. Another optional helper is this little green snail called Escurgo. When you put it down, it pops out a mist that acts like a health booster. And just in the next area, we're picking up the mud beetle. Now place the whale nard on the ground to lure both Mizutsune and Magnamalo. While waiting for them, let's grab the puppet spider. We use this to insta-mount Magnamalo later in the hunt. Another optional is this Fire Beetle to inflict Fire Blight. Fire Blight is a status that inflicts damage over time. Let's head back to the Battle Zone. When you enter the area, Magna Malo hits Mizutsune, and then you get a free mount. If you want to guarantee that Magna is hitting Mizu, throw some Kunai at it to make it angry. You can do 5 tail swings for damage and 1 water beam attack to inflict water blight. Water blight is basically tenderizing back in Monster Hunter world. It softens the monster so you deal more damage. Mount and go ham! It's important to note that at this point, we are close to getting a Hellfire topple. Right now, Magna Malo is covered in purple Hellfire. After a bit of time, it will perform an attack that turns the purple flames pink. When Magna Malo's Hellfire turns pink, attack the arms and the back if you can. If you do enough damage, you dispel the Hellfire and get a topple with more damage. Here is a comparison between a topple with purple and pink Hellfire. As you can see, the one with pink flames deal more damage. Before we go further into the fight, let's quickly talk about Magamalo's moveset. Nearly all attacks hit like a truck and can one-shot you especially if you use ranged weapons. Magna Malo has a unique mechanic where it can cover parts of its body with Hellfire, dealing more damage and sometimes lets out Hellfire dust that detonates after a short period of time. Some of the attacks behave differently depending if this part is shrouded in Hellfire or not. Here is a little compilation of the important attacks he uses and how to evade them.
Back to the fight. After the topple is a good time to use the Thunder Beetle. The Thunder Beetle inflicts Thunder Blight, which makes the monster take KO damage to the head. While it's knocked out, deal as much damage as you can. When it stands up, it will shake itself for a brief moment. That's a sign to sheathe and use the mud beetle. It gives water blights, so this again is to soften his hide for more damage. A little thing about the mud beetle. When thrown, you get a flinch. We can use this to our advantage. The flinch gives you a safe opening to use the shrub trap. If you find yourself getting hit and you have Hellfire Blight, you can use this to knock him over once more. Instead of rolling to get rid of it, you run to Magnamalo after it finishes an attack and simply use the Warbug to either go up in the air or go forward. That leaves a patch of Hellfire on the ground. As soon as Magnamalo or you attack the Hellfire patch and it is in range, Magnamalo takes a bit of damage and gets toppled. You can do this only once. After that, he will still take damage but won't fall over. You also have the pitfall trap on your disposal, so just wait for a safe time to place it down. For light bowgun and heavy bowgun users, you want to use the pierce, thunder, and water ammo. Use the pierce when its back is shrouded in hellfire, thunder on the arms and the head when covered in flames, and water on parts with no hellfire on them like the hind legs. For the Blastoad, it's the same thing. Find a good opening and put it down. It will produce a cloud of particles which are bound to explode after getting hit. Let Magnamalo hit it for extra damage and a short knockdown. And then we have the sticky ammo and mines. Use the sticky on the head to get another KO if possible, and the mines when Magnamalo is down. You can, do you can do this move for extra swag, drip, and damage. <laughs> After 6 to 7 minutes into the quest, wait for a safe opening or throw a flash bomb so you can use the puppet spider in order to mount Magnamalo. But wait! Don't attack yet! Instead, use the barrel bombs for some juicy numbers to get the mount. Now head to where Rathian is on the map. Bonk three times into a wall and then into Rathian for a second mount. Mounting has a cooldown of 5 minutes if you use a different mounting method. Again, only do the tail swings for damage and another poison.
unmount and attack till Magnamalo is dead. We call this Unga Bunga. And there you go, one very dead Magnamalo. We use the same strat for other weapons and it works the same. You just need a bit of practice and patience. We hope you had fun watching this video and that you learned something for your future hunts. If you want more videos like this, comment down below which monsters you wish to see next. With that said, it's time to head out and bully some more monsters. Visor and Gaudium here. Happy hunting!